everybody, Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside, ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Big day coming up today. The announcement, if you haven't heard, there is a brand new unified champion, the macho man Randy Savage. We'll have more to say about that as we go on. But right here today, lots of action. Oh, we got a big one indeed. Opening bout, we'll see Brian Christopher against Jeff Gaylord. That's our opening bout. Yeah. Coming up right here today on USWA Wrestling. Hey, also today, the American Eagles. They're going to be around here. A lot of fan favorites, the American mm -hmm. Eagles. Doomsday, a big newcomer to the USWA. Yeah, he's going to be here as well. BG-13 of the King, Jerry Lawler, and the fabulous one, Jeff Jeff. All together in the uh, main event coming up a little bit yeah. later on. In between, lots and lots of action. Stay with us. We'll be back to get it going right after this. Three, Kevin Christian is waiting, and, well, I can tell by the music... It's Jeff Gaylord arriving, but uh, the music signifies that Brian Christopher should not be too far away either. Christopher coming down to do battle. There he is. He's going to be going against Jeff Gaylord. Right behind Brian Christopher is Tony Adams. Brian uh, taking plenty of time to acknowledge the camera. Jeff Gaylord waiting patiently in the ring. Christopher not happy that uh, we are showing you Jeff Gaylord from time to time. Once the camera kept on him. Well, there he is. You can see the crowd reaction to him there. Thumbs down. As he steps through the ropes and into the ring. Tony Adams in his corner. And this one fall, 10 minute time limit match, about to get underway. Christopher having great problems. Go Jeff, go, says the crowd. Already the match is not even underway, and Jeff Gaylord has the fans in his corner. The referee with the inspection. Calls for the bell, and here we go. One fall, 10 minute time limit match. Yeah, we're underway with it. The Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord, and Brian Christopher with Tony Adams at ringside. Set to do battle here today on USWA Wrestling. There's Brian Christopher flexing his muscles. Fans cheering on the Missouri Tiger. Oh. I think it's got to Brian Christopher, too, not only Tony. But you can't ignore Jeff Gaylord. Gaylord has Christopher up in the air. Oh, and a big slam. I, Brian, you just can't ignore this guy. I'm telling you, Jeff Gaylord is a big, tough, strong wrestler, as he proved right there as he just picked Brian up off the ropes and slammed him in the middle of the ring. Yeah, he's got a lot of strength, Dave, and uh, he proved it right there. Just had Brian Christopher in the air and threw him down hard. Christopher and Gaylord should be a pretty good bout here today on USWA Wrestling. Look at Gaylord got him up again. Throws Brian Christopher down. Oh, and he hit hard on his backside there. Yeah, he just scooped him up and Swung him down there, it was Brian Christopher right on his bottom side. Christopher now wants a word with uh, Tony Adams. I don't know what she told him. But Jeff Gaylord, waiting for him in the ring. It's been Jeff's match so far. We've been scoring on points. Jeff would be way ahead. Yeah, indeed. Christopher has got him in a headlock now. Missouri Tiger Jeff Gaylord. Gaylord sets him up a back. No, he just uh, beats Christopher up and threw him again. I thought he was going to set him up for that back suplex, but he grabbed Brian Christopher up and threw him. Oh, Christopher, Christopher got him from behind. Yeah. Jeff turned. Uh, Tony Adams had climbed up on the ring apron, and Jeff Gaylord was over watching that. Meanwhile, Christopher nailed him from behind. He got him across the eyes. Look out, he's using the rope to choke him. Brian Christopher trying to seize to and Tony Adams grabbing him from outside. Yeah, she's putting her two cents in it, grabbing Gaylord. 
Finally, she lets loose a death. With interference from Tony Adams, Brian Christopher goes up to Jeff Gaylord. Big right hand, and another right from Christopher. Tigers in Missouri Tigers. Takes Gaylord into the ropes now. Boy, close line and take Jeff Gaylord down. Christopher's feeling a lot better about the situation right now. He was in trouble early, but there's Gaylord trying to battle back, but Christopher answering with a right hand. That's Christopher on the middle rope. Whoa! Gaylord catches him as he comes flying off the rope. Backs Christopher up and whips him into the rope. All those big football tackles from the Missouri Tiger. Set. And another big shoulder from Gaylord. Again, Tony Adams up on the apron. Gaylord turns, grabs Tony Adams. And the referee is saying, uh-uh, don't hit her. Look out, Christopher's got a chain. Yeah. He nails Jeff Gaylord from behind. Hey, let's see, rolls Jeff up over here. He's got a bullet in his sights, and three gets it. Brian Christopher gets the one, two, three. Over the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord. And Tony Adams with a big destruction in there. Hey, here comes Mike Anthony. Mike Dave. Anthony in. What? He's, he's telling the referee, oh, he's telling the referee about the chain. He said, hey, he had a chain. He wrapped it around his fist and, and smacked him with it. The referee has heard what he's saying. Christopher, of course, saying, uh -uh, I don't have a chain. The referee out here, he's going to check. Oh, and did you see what Christopher did? He handed that chain yeah. to, to uh, Tony Adams. She's putting it in her shoe right now. And yeah, all right. Is the uh, she's limping around on it? Chain got a chain yep. out of the high heel shoe. Yep. Here comes the referee. The people uh, uh, told uh, the referee what happened. Yep. Check the shoe. Yeah. Check that shoe. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Well, the referee finds the chain, and there's the oh, reversal. Yeah. Jeff Gaylord is going to be the winner on the bar. Yep. Referee Kevin Christian with a good follow-up in there, Dave. Found the chain in the shoe of Tony Adams, and Jeff Gaylord gets the win. And hey, got a credit Mike Anthony for coming out also, and Mike with us and helping that one. You're exactly right. Jeff Gaylord gets the victory. Brian Christopher and Tony Adams are not happy about it. But that's the way it is when you try to take the shortcut. It caught up with them right there, and it cost them the match. Eddie Marlin, I know you're not a happy man today, as we told everybody at the beginning. Uh, got a uh, brand-new unified world champion, uh, the Macho Man. Randy Savage has won the belt. That's right, and, you know, I hope I never have to spend another week like this past week. I'm telling you, Vince McMahon, either my phone's ringing, it's him, or the fax machine is dumping paper out on the floor, it's from him. Even uh, first-class mail come in the latter part of the week, just sitting up there gloating that the WWF is superior to the USWA. Now, I've seen the match. And I'd have given anything in the world if I could have done something about it. Uh, he, of course, you know, he was in the corner. And he, yeah, he, he, he's probably responsible for Savage having the belt. He that, interfered. That's exactly right. And he's sitting back up there, all red back with that chest thrown out, as Bruno said, with the lapels on his uh, vest. But I want to tell Vince McMahon, I want to tell all the people up north in New York and all, that the WWF is not superior to the USWA. Now you, these are the greatest fans anywhere in the country, and I don't care what Vince McMahon says, how many times he rings my phone, how many letters he writes, the USWA is probably superior to them, without a doubt. Well, I think over, over time, I mean, uh, how many USWA people have defeated those guys right. as they came through here? And another thing that's very irritating, Randy Savage, He's sitting up there with him gloating, too. And if you would, 
he sent a picture down, and this is exactly what oh, they think God. of us here in the USWA. King of the Hicks. King of the Hicks. King of the Hicks. Now, you know, all during my life, I've been knocked down, but I've always been able to get up. So I was knocked down this time, but I'm up again. And I want to tell Vince McMahon, and I want to tell Randy Savage, every dog has his day. And I'll guarantee you the USWA will have their day, and we'll get the chance to sit and gloat and send him some phone calls. There you go. Make him sorry they ever sent that picture that, uh, like that. Thank you, Eddie, for telling us uh, about it, and unfortunately for us having to look at that picture. We'll be back with more in a moment. and climbing into the ring right now, T.D. Steele. You know him well. He's got a tough assignment today. He's going against a big guy. We'll introduce you to right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, T.D.'s got that hard hat on, waiting in there, and he'll probably need it for Doomsday. Doomsday headed this way. Here, co oh, here comes Paul Neighbors leading the way. You know, that spells trouble right there. Paul Neighbors is involved. And here comes Doomsday, a very, very large wrestler. Got a mask on, steps up on the ring apron, through the ropes, and we are just about set to go. This will be a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Look at TD. Boy, TD is ready to go. He's not backing up an inch. Yeah. He didn't back in the corner and go, my goodness, what a huge opponent I have today. He stepped in there and is ready to take on the world. And uh, he, That may be the case almost as he goes against Big Doomsday. What do you want, Paul? He's... Well, I, I got to admit he's big. Other than that, I wouldn't have much to say until I see him wrestle. He just broke in the rope. He threw TD back in the rope, and the, and the bottom rope is broken. That's well, why they call it Doomsday. Everywhere that man has been, they had their paramedics or ambulance. He hurts. Boy, big suplex on yeah. TD. And snapped him over in that suplex. Can you imagine the power of throwing somebody into a rope that you break the steel cable? Well, there's no doubt. Yeah, he's done he's that. He's big. Uh, he's got the cover on TD. Oh, Mix okay. him up. Now, now, all right, now, neighbors. That's the ridiculous thing, boss Paul. Why don't you oh, yeah. tell him when he has him down to go ahead and try to get the three count instead of just trying to hurt somebody. Yeah, neighbors over here That's cheerleading and right. hurt him, hurt him. He hurts people. Why well, is that the point of hurting people, Paul? What about winning matches? DD back into the rope. Look out. Boy. Big right hand from Doomsday. A big guy, newcomer in the USWA. And uh must say he is big and impressive, Dave. Well, he has controlled this one so far. And that's saying something when you're going against T.D. Steele. Look at this. Wow. wow. T.D. down. The power slam uh, and the big leg. And Doomsday goes for the... Yeah, he does go for the cover. Yeah, got three that. falls. He got him. Well, Paul Neighbors got one thing right. It's over. Yeah, and that's the winner awesome. is Doomsday. All she wrote for T.D. Steele, and Doomsday took care of him quickly with an impressive win over T.D. Steele and Paul Neighbors, both Paul Neighbors, leading on Doomsday in the USWA. Now, Neighbors over here congratulating himself mightily during the match, talking about how big and tough and bad he was, and I must say, Doomsday is impressive in his first appearance here on uh, television with the USWA. T.D. Steele is back on his feet. He's still not walking very well. But it looks like he's all right. Hey, the whistle blows. Here comes Richard Lee with uh, Moondog and Mike Anthony. Moondog Spike and Mike Anthony, I think most of you fans know, the USWA Tag Team Champions. They got the belt. Yes, sir, David. It feels good, too, brother. And I want to say something, Dave. For about the last two years, there's been a lot of people. There's been Jerry Lawler. There's been Jeff Jarrett. There's been the dog catchers. There's been Austin Idol. You name it. The list just goes on and on and on and on. There's been a lot of people trying to put my dogs out of commission. Now, to some extent, these people have succeeded, all right? But I've got a big kennel, Dave. You know that as well as I do. I've got a big kennel. We went out. We won the titles. They thought that they had my dogs 
out of commission again. But they're wrong, Dave. They're very, very wrong. Because what I've done, I went up on the mountain. I got my biggest, I got my baddest dog. I brought him in here. I'm going to bring him out here for you right now, Dave. Well, the whistle blows, and oh, here comes Splash. With a chair in hand, look out. This is 440 pounds of rockin', stockin', mean, vicious moon dog, baby. Vicious moon dog. And Mike, I want to say something to you too, brother. When, when I was short of moon dog, you came in there, you stepped in, and you filled, you filled in for me. All right, you evened up the sides. And everybody can see Mike Anthony's got the blonde hair. Mike Anthony's got a good body. But Mike, you're obviously not a moon dog. Everybody knows that, right? Okay. But listen, what I want to do is I want to thank you very much right here. What are you doing? Taking a belt. I want to thank you very much, Mike, for filling in, taking care of us, and helping us out, all right? I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, Mike. Now, hang on a second, Mr. Lee. I'm, I'm really confused here. I was fighting side by side with you guys. Yeah, and I appreciate okay. it. I appreciate it very much, okay. Mike. Thank you very much. No, Thank no, you. No, no, no. That belt is as much mine as no, it no, is. No, 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 no. No, you're not a moon dog. Do you understand that? No, no, no. The no, contract was no, signed for it to be against the moon dogs. That's it. And so when the titles, when we won the titles, my dogs won the titles. So thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. I appreciate but, but it. I, I filled in. I thought it was my determination <laughs> and my hard work just like you guys. Yeah, that's great. I, 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 I was part of it. it I, admire, I admire determination. I, team, I admire determination. Effort. I admire heart. But thank you. You're not, you're not a moon dog. Of us. You're not a moon dog. Do you understand that? But I was there, though. I, I, tried, I worked with you guys. Sure you did. I asked you if you would come work. in and help me. You did. Yes. You did. I appreciate and that. And we won the championship. I appreciate it. All I, all I can do is shake your hand. Thank you. Now, no, no. go on. I've got a lot to do. i got, I got a lot to I'm do. Get champion. out of here. I'm a champion, too. I, I work You're you not guys. a champion. Yes, I am. It was my work to help win those belts. No. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee. But I, I cleared this thing to Eddie Marlin for you to come in here. This is not fair. I cleared this to Eddie Marlin. Let's get Eddie Marlin in, in here. Eddie Marlin will check I it out. I don't need Eddie Marlin. Get out of here. You just got to move on. You're not a part of the deal. Get out of here. I won this just like you. Hey. 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 Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. The Moondogs attack Mike Anthony. What in the Sam Hill? Mike Anthony was one of the tag team champions, Dave. As he says, you got to agree with Mike in there. Well, he was a legal man uh, in the corner when the belts were won. And half not a Moondog, Dave Brown. I tried my best to explain that to him. He's a young, dumb punk, and he's not going to make a name off of my dog. Well, Richard, he's not a Moondog, but he is half the championship team. That's the way it... That's the way it was won. Yeah, Mike's got a big point in there. He does. He, he Ri the, Richard, the, the only point Richard Lee has is that, you know, Mike is not uh, not a moon dog, but uh, he certainly did fill in amiably. Here's Jeff Gaylord in to help even it up a little bit. Yeah, the Missouri Tiger comes in. Now in the way on moon dog splat over there. And Richard Lee blowing the whistle and the moon dog Walk up behind Lee and leave Mike Anthony lying there in the middle of the ring. And Richard Lee does have both the USWA Tag Team belts as he leaves Jeff Gaylord there to help out Mike Anthony. Mike's not in very good shape at all after being bounced around by both the Moondogs and that big folding metal chair and a little bit of everything else. As Gaylord uh, helps Mike, let us take a break and we'll be back with more in a moment. Another match just about to get underway. The American Eagles are going to be headed this way. Referee steps into the ring. Sergeant O'Reilly and the Scorpion are in the ring. And the American Eagles should be arriving just momentarily for a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Here they come. The American Eagles. Favorites of the fans around the USWA. They come looking for their opponent. They grab them. Referee says, let's go. Ring the bell. 
The American Eagles coming after Sergeant O'Reilly. Oh, drop kick on O'Reilly. <laughs> Boy, he almost knocked the taste out of O'Reilly's mouth with that drop kick. He got up there. The American Eagles like to see this team in the USWA. Nice move from the Eagle. Flips O'Reilly down and on that left arm of Sergeant O'Reilly. Tag on the other Eagle now. Tag team action from the American Eagles. Rolls O'Reilly over and covers and uh, about a half a count there. O'Reilly kicked out before the count. Snaps O'Reilly over and does the American Eagle. O'Reilly got the head scissors, but couldn't make it stick. The Eagle immediately kicked out of it and is right back to work. Hey, we still got PG-13 coming up today on USWA, and uh, you know they'll have a little midget D walking around here with them as well coming up. And the King and the fabulous one, Jerry Lawler, yeah. Jeff Jarrett, coming in a little bit later on too. Can't wait for that one too. Still got a lot more to go on USWA Championship Wrestling. Coming here from the Eagle one. Two, and now uh, O'Reilly is up. Look out. Here's PG-13 out here now. Speak of the devil. Here comes PG-13 and Midget D. Boy, a match going. Just a really good match underway. And all of a sudden, here comes PG-13. J.C. Ice has got that up cap in his hand. Oh, Midget no. D dropping on one of the Eagles. Yeah. It's PG-13, as you said, with that up cap. Now's the American Eagle with it. O'Reilly and the Scorpion is out of here. They got the Eagle again, and nails him with that up cap again. PG-13 and Midget D. The Eagles have been grounded, Dave Brown. Yeah, after you jump them from behind. My goodness. They're involved in a match. A match that's underway, and all of a sudden they're jumped from behind and hit with a hubcap. Now the Eagles being attended to by the referee. Yeah. And here come uh, Jeff Gaylord and Mike Anthony. Boy, Mike uh, really got pounded by the Moon Dogs a little earlier there. You know, Richard Lee, you showed your true colors today, man. I fought my heart out for you guys. I did my very best, and you stabbed me in the back like you did. Well, that's not right. That's not right at all. You know, I may not be the biggest man in the world, but I got a lot of heart, Richard Lee. And you're about to find out how much heart the Tiger Mike Anthony has. And I got myself a big partner here, the big cat, the big tiger, Jeff Gaylord. Richard Lee, I used to have a lot of respect for you guys. After this guy fought his heart out and won those belts for you, and to treat him like that, you showed us what the jerks you really are. And I can't wait to show you what we do to jerks. Well, there's a word from uh, Mike. Here's, here's Eddie Marlin. Why these two guys out here, I understand it's exactly how Mike feels. And after watching what happened today, y'all want a match with the Moondogs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. You please do. Okay, we're going to sign the match. We'll, after all this uh, spectacular card, we're going to add this match to the card. It'll be Mike and Jeff against the Moondogs. All right, added match. You got Richard Lee and the Moondogs, you got a fight you want. It's a fight you got. We're going to end this in the ring. And we are going to come out on top, man. Be looking for that one. Mike Anthony, Jeff Gaylor going against Richard Lee and his Moondogs. We'll be back in a moment. Match, Ken Raper yeah. and Del Rios are in the ring right now. And uh, PG-13. Yeah, we've already seen them once before, along with that hubcap they brought in, and Midget D, who's in their corner. BG-13 scheduled in this match right here. Scheduled a little Midget. Del Rios, yeah, the Midget's uh, leading away. Midget D. He's got the hubcap in his hand, which is also dangerous. I see him headed over towards the, towards the desk here. What about, what about you jumping the guys from behind? New haircut? Don't worry, we'll get it for you. <laughs> Look at that. You know, Dave, what, what kind of bird don't fly? Could it be a hubcap eagle? <laughs> Boom. Dave, 
Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you why I'm so happy today, man. Because not only did we leave the American Eagles laying in there, we grounded the Eagles, but we got the world's champion right here. Look at this. Championship material. Midget D. Baby, he is the man. Dave, he can take you, I believe. He can take you. Easy. I know he can take Corey. Yeah, he can take Corey with you. But he can take you, Dave, real easy. Well, let's show him. Let's show some fun. You got, yeah, you okay. We'll watch. You guys have got a match. That's, uh, I tell you, interview with all useless information here that I got out of those guys. They uh, oh, yeah. came out here and jumped the American Eagles from behind a little bit earlier. And our, come on, JC, get in the ring. What would I do with it? A purple velvet jacket. Yeah. I want to Midget, I don't Midget D it. will be in the corner over here. And PG-13 set to go, patiently waiting in the ring. Ken Raper and Del Rios. Del Rios is going to start for his team. Wolfie D starts for PG-13. Uh, PG-13 has been running their mouth since they came through the curtains over there, Corey. Yeah, they have, and uh, J.C. Ice and uh, Midget D over here wanted me not to steal their PG-13 attire. Del Rios! Working on the left arm of Sir Wolfie D of PG-13. Whips Del Rios in. Big Jonah from Rios. Boy, big guy is Del Rios. Oh, that arm. Tightening up on Sir Wolfie D. Oh, Wolfie. With a couple of big right hands on Del Rios. Wolfie D backs him up and whips Rios in. Top kick from Sir Wolfie D. Rios down in the ring, and there's Whoopi D climbing up on the top rope. Comes flying off, and Rios catches it. Look at this, Del Rios. Ah, that Whoopi D down. Oh, oh. Boy, Del Rios suckered uh, PG-13 into that one. And again, that's three times that PG-13 has made a mistake, and Del Rios has the upper hand at the moment. Wolfie D rolls out on the floor. J.C. Ice and uh, Midget D there to comfort him. And now J.C. Ice rolls back in. Now, wait a minute. He's not supposed to be the one in there. Did he make a tag? No, I didn't see I think they just made a change. All right, well, the referee's asking about it, and uh, J.C. Ice assures the referee that the proper tag was made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what kind of assurance J.C. Ice has with anyone. It looks like the referee is going to allow the attack. And it's J.C. Ice against Ken Raper. Raper backed into a corner. Look at J.C. Ice with that fist to the midsection. Raper reverses. Nice move. Yeah, look at that. Nice ball drop from Ken Raper. Raper with a clothesline. PG-13 over to the corner very, very quickly as uh, J.C. Ice just grabs on to Wolfie D. Boy, he wants, he needs a little time out here, and so he's taking it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He calls for time out all during the match in there. Just didn't realize that he ran out before the match started. No timeouts for PG-13 available. Ken Raper with a headlock on J.C. Ice. Ice whoops him in. Raper leaps over and catches a knee to the back from Sir Wolfie D. Wolfie D with the interference. Catches Ken Raper from behind. Comes off the top rope. Coming on Ken Raper. It's PG-13 tagging in and out. Wolfie D with series of right hands on Raper. He had that fist doubled up, pounding Ken Raper while he was down on the mat. Raper trying to get to the corner. Wolfie D blocked that and takes Raper back over to his corner. My goodness. Yeah, Raper taking quite a beat from PG. 13 with a drop check. They take Raper down in a cover from J.C. Ice. Only a one count. Raper kicks out of it. J.C. Ice looks Ken Raper in. Uh, Raper gets out of there. He tags the Rios. Here comes Rios. Sending PG-13 down. Slams J.C. Ice. Slams Wolf 
LAPD. And Rios comes in far up in there. Going out to PG-13. Sleeper hole from Rios. Hey, look out. Midget D's got that up, Cap. He's climbing the rope. PG-13 working Del Rios back over close to the corner, and the midget nails him with a hubcap. Midget D. Uh, midget, he dipped that hubcap up. Mel and Rios in the back of the head with it. And they've got Rios now tying them in the ropes over here. Rios is tied up right there. Midget D's got the hubcap. He's nailing the wire with it. Uh, the referee has disqualified PG-13. When uh, Midget D dropped in with that hubcap, the referee stopped it right there, and PG-13 will lose this match by disqualification. But they continue to work now on Ken Rafer with a hubcap as they've got Del Rio tied up in the rope. Here comes some help. Hey, look at this. Hey, help. The Little Eagle is chasing Midget D. Yeah, the Little Eagle. The Eagle still working on PG-13. Meanwhile, the Little Eagle has dispatched Midget D. He's out of here. And there are congratulations all around from the American Eagles and Little Eagle. Hey, PG, let me give you a hint, boys. We come out here week after week. And all these people know we can beat you with it's one-on-one or tag back. There's bad enough. Go out of the hub chat. But they will bring their little troll out there and make the tires that more uneven. And now we got an equalizer here that's going to take care of your little trolls, Al. There's a word. The American Eagles have found Little Eagle of their own to equalize Midget D for PG-13. We've got more to come from the USWA. Lee and the Moondogs headed this way after really that uh, rather disappointing display a little bit earlier with Mike Anthony. Mike Anthony, I'm going to make this short, sweet, and to the point, brother. You're nothing but an ungrateful punk. You are nobody until I give you a chance to come in with an athlete like this, brother. And now you want to push me around and you think that you've got you a tough partner. Jeff Gaylord might be big. But Jeff Gaylord is somebody that we've already beat like a red-headed stepchild, brother. This is the chair. This is the moon dog. These are the champions. And we're going to beat your brains out, boys. Match is coming up. Richard Lee and the moon dogs will be going against Mike Anthony and Jeff Gaylord. In the ring right now, we're set to go. We got Reggie B. Fine in there. Charlie Laird, his partner. Here's the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett and the King, Jerry Luller. And here's Reggie B. Fine. What do you need, Reggie? What is this, a conspiracy, man? Every time I come down here to wrestle, man, I got to wrestle against guys like this, and they put me with somebody that I don't know nothing. What's your name, man? Charlie, man. Charlie. I tell you what, Tyler, you stay right here, man. I'm going to take care of these punks by myself. I don't need no help, man. Oh, Reggie, come on, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie's going to take care of Jerry Lawler well, and, and Jeff, Jeff Jarrett by himself. Oh, uh -huh. uh, me. Yeah, well, you climb right on in there and do it, Reggie. Let's see you. Let's get this action underway. Charlie Laird is his partner, and, uh, I, I, okay, I'm not that familiar with him either, but... Uh, <laughs> Come on. Ready to be fine tells Charlie Laird, hey, just step out on the apron now. I, hey, just stay, I stay outside. I'll do this. Well, let's watch <laughs> Reggie be fine in action here. Now, Reggie be fine will probably lose 20 times in about two minutes. <laughs> well, he's going against two of the top wrestlers yeah. in the world. And the king, <laughs> Jerry Lawler. And, and a Jeff fabulous Jeff. one, yeah. And, and Reggie immediately says... He pulled his hair. Yeah, he doesn't have any hair. Man. His hair has already been pulled, looks like, <laughs> before this match. And he says that Jared pulled his hair. 
Can't believe it. You talk about a conspiracy. Uh, Reggie B. Fine whipped it to the ropes. Leaps over the fabulous one. Nice hip toss from Jeff Jarrett. Oh, and he pulled his tights. Pulled his tights, says Reggie. Pull my hair. He pulled my tights. And the crowd said he didn't do that. Reggie. Reggie B. Yeah, Reggie says, tell him to stay out of my tights, man. He's pulling my tights. Jeff makes the tag on the king. Here oh, comes the hey, king. Hey, Here goes hey, Reggie. Oh. He tagged Charlie Ware. Now, wait a minute. What happened to that? I can handle both of these guys by myself from Reggie. He immediately headed to the corner to tag Charlie Laird, his partner, when Jerry Lawler stepped through the rope. Lawler! Yeah. That was the way on land. Flips him over. In the middle of the ring, the king knocked the right oh. fist down on Charlie Lair. Once yeah. in his lifetime, but you'll never know if he could have eaten Lawler. Where Jordan. were you? Hey, I told you, man. I had to do my own work around here. I don't want. Oh, Reggie, yeah, you're the one that made the tag. Yeah, he, oh, he didn't want to yeah, go against no. Lawler and didn't want Charlie Laird to go against him. Yeah. Hey, 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 do you hear what he said? Why don't you be my partner, man? Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be your partner. Oh, I don't want to be your partner, but he, they said if you could beat them both, go right on back in there. They'll I, welcome I you back in. I don't want to be your partner against Lawler and Jared myself. See, what had happened on me not them, because when he tagged him, I hurt my arm. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Oh, boy. Gentlemen, he had his hair pulled. They were pulling his tights. Anything else that uh, Reggie B. Fine could think of. And finally he said, they hurt my arm. That, I hurt my arm. Well, his arm seems to be fine. He's back along with his partner, Charlie Laird. Ball number two will be coming up. Jeff Jarrett comes around to say, Reggie, we have a match. Second fall. And Reggie B. Fine and Charlie Laird are one fall down. Reggie B. was telling, uh, telling us before the match started, Hey, I can take these guys all by myself. I don't need a partner. I don't need a partner I never heard of in there. I can do it all by myself. Look at him now. He's down on the floor. He said Charlie Laird in there to start the second fall. Of course, Charlie has to start because he's the one that was pinned at the end of the first fall. Yeah. It's Charlie Laird against the king, Jerry Lawler. Lawler pulls back in a boxing stance, and Charlie Laird wants none of that. Uh, Charlie Laird runs over and grabs referee Kevin Christen and tells Kevin, hey, hey, he's got that fish. Laird came back in there holding his mouth in there, so he's remembering that right hand from the king. Uh, he got popped real good as the king came off the ropes there. There's a headlock. It's a plain old headlock. Let's see, can Laird get out of it? Not making too much progress right now. Well, he'll get out of it as the king breaks the hold as Jeff Jarrett comes in after the tag. Jeff plants the bottom of the boot. For the ribcage, Charlie Laird's in trouble. Down to the mat he goes after Jeff nails him coming off the ropes there. Yeah, Ready to be elbow. fine, standing over in the corner, just standing there. Not helping out, just standing there. <laughs> Close line there from the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett. Jarrett goes up to Charlie Laird. Slams him into the turnbuckle. And Reggie B. Fine jumps off the apron, over mouthing the fans over there. Laird was looking for a tag from his partner. But no partner in the corner for Charlie Laird. Jared chops the elbow down on Laird. Slams Laird into the turnbuckle, and Laird still looking for a tag, and Reggie B. Fine decides he needs to pull up his knee pad. <laughs> hey, a but look at tag. It. By Jeff Jarrett. Jeff forced Reggie B. Fine to take the tag. <laughs> oh. Reggie, I'll tag you when I'm good and ready, he said. Yeah, he I, had no I, choice. I think Reggie thought that Charlie Laird may have grabbed his hand. No, uh, that was Jeff. He forced that tag. He was tired of listening to Reggie run his mouth and not get in there and try to back it up. Yeah, but I'm sure Charlie Laird felt like grabbing his hand. Probably twice in there. Getting the tag. Reggie B. Fine. And here he is again. You better tell these clowns to stop calling me two ball, man. I just recently got my curl cut the other day. But he's so cool in my house. Cue ball, they're saying. Cue ball, cue ball. Reggie B. Not wanting to get in there and fight. Shut up. Me 
and my man gonna leave. Well, if you do, we're gonna count you out. Yeah. Count to ten, ring the bell, you're gonna lose. <laughs> And Reggie B. Fires says he just recently went to the barber shop and got his curl cut off. Uh, looks like, like a stop pulling his hair. Looks like they took a little extra off the top there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Reggie B. picks up Jared. Hands him down. Well, he got a slam. And look at him celebrating. Man, what a mistake. <laughs> Jeff pats him on the back. Boom. A return engagement. <laughs> oh, and he's taking the referee, Kevin Christie. He tried to get it and get the referee to take the tag. Reggie B. Fine looking for help anywhere that he can get it from. <laughs> Reggie B. Got to put his head between the ropes and get some a break over there. This match to the expiration of time, we're in our second fall in that day. The crowd getting on Reggie. Reggie says, you're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy's something else. There's a tag by Jeff Jarrett, and here comes the king. Jerry Lawler wraps up Reggie B. Fine's left arm, puts that twist on it. And now Reggie, Reggie will tag Jeff if he can get away with it. He just wants to get out of there. <laughs> calling for help from the crowd. Volunteers, anybody? <laughs> He's in trouble. He knows it. Oh. Reggie B screaming for help. Gets over on the middle rope. Gets the break. Smartest move Reggie has made all day long is to get over to the ropes and get the uh, get the hole broken. Now what's he doing? He's out uh, talking to some of the folks in the crowd. Probably over trying to collect enough funds right. for his next haircut he'll get next week, <laughs> according to Reggie B. Vine. I think he's complaining that they're not giving him the proper support. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie Laird steps in the ring. Well, he can't wrestle uh, at this moment, though, because the tag hasn't been made. Reggie's going to have to get back in the ring. I don't know what all he was saying here, but uh, he's upset about something. Ready, be fine. The king just patiently waiting. Reggie be fine. Backs him up against the turnbuckle over there. Puts Lawler in on the other side. Run right down. <laughs> and that cracks Jerry up over there. <laughs> and Charlie Laird takes the tag. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie in some discomfort in the corner as Charlie Laird takes over to go against Lawler. We'll see how Laird does in there against the King. Charlie Laird standing in with Lawler. Oh, Lawler kicks him in the midsection. There's Laird. Pulls him over in the corner and Jared and Lawler. Whip Laird into the ropes over there. Back drop on Charlie Laird. They flip him over. From a two, look at it, three. Got he it. got it. And where's Reggie B. Fine? Yeah, Reggie B. walking Reggie? over here. He's wandering around the studio, 20 feet from the ring, saying he doesn't know what, he doesn't understand. Where were you? That's right, Dave. Me and you will get out of Jeff next week, right? Here. No, no, no. I'm going to have you walk away from me the way you did your partner here. No, thank you, sir. Charlie Laird. Yeah, goodbye. The king is waving to yeah. uh, Reggie B. Fine. Reggie comes out here talking a great game. Yeah, I can beat them both by myself. Put me in there with him. I don't need a partner, especially a partner I never heard of. Well, Charlie Laird is the one that did most of the wrestling in that match, fans. Both falls fall one and two. And then 
when the going got tough, was Reggie there to help out? No. Uh, he was out here wandering around. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Wandering around know, like looking the Superman. other way. Yeah. yeah. Reggie oh, B. Geez. Fine. Well, he and his partner, Charlie Laird, largely as a result of Reggie, uh, uh, lose two straight falls. Of course, I'm not sure they had a great chance to defeat the King and uh, the Superstar anyway, as uh, Jeff Jarrett and Jerry Lawler look mighty, mighty good at getting the victory. Quick recap, Jeff Gaylord got a win here today. It was uh, Doomsday uh, getting a victory. Big uh, new guy in the USWA. American Eagles get a win. It was Del Rios and Ken Raper over PG-13 by disqualification. And the King, Jerry Lawler and uh, Jeff Jarrett getting the fabulous one, getting uh, the victory over Reggie B. Fine and Charlie Laird. Lots more coming up next week. We hope you'll be here with us for it. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.